Hey guys, Jason. If you haven't heard recently, Bitcoin has surpassed 11 and a half petahashes. So it seems like a fitting I'm sitting here with my old rusty mining machine. Um, no, it's not mining Bitcoin, it's mining an old coin, a script coin. But it just, it blows me away. Uh, like, I remember back in the days when, you know, mining hash rate for Bitcoin was very low. You know, I remember when, you know, the idea of, you know, ever, you know, to this point getting to a one petahash or one petahash was inconceivable, you know. I, I remember back in the day when, you know, your your GUI, you know, client used to mine, you know, CPU mine for Bitcoin. I remember the, uh, you know, the introduction of GPU miners, you know, to the point where, you know, for, you know, you could have these threads like you do with CPUs and you could mine with your GPU and it kind of started the arms race for, you know, these huge mining machines because before with just CPUs, you didn't really have an effective way to, you know, mass multiply PCs into an elite, you know, mining clan. But now with GPUs, you were able to. And then, of course, the, you know, crazy FPGA, you know, board days. And those were the days that I really found most interesting because nobody really knew. I mean, there were experts in the field that knew that they were going to become, you know, and they were going to do good, and nobody just knew what, you know, what companies to get them from or, you know, how to get those. And those very few who did, or those who did succeed in getting those boards, did exceptionally well during that period. And then, of course, uh, and I did a video on this the first time it came out, the first ASIC board came out. And the, the, the conceived that a year ago, you know, Janu around January 2013, we had the first ASIC board. And the hash rate was so much lower. Um, you know, back in this day, you still had, you know, GPU miners. People still were using the FPGA boards. Now, CPU miners weren't out there. You know, they had already been kind of surpassed by the GPUs and the FPGA boards. But ASICs changed the, the, the whole game. You know, ASICs are, are resembled more closely to FPGA boards than they, they do GPUs. Just in the fact that they use less power and they're more efficient. So now instead of having to have a GPU that can get you, you know, 100 mega hashes or 400 mega hashes, you're getting a, you know, little tiny chip with a whole bunch of, you know, or board with a whole bunch of chips on it, you know, that can mine unbelievably high amounts of hash rate. It's just incredible, you know, the thing that I remember, you know, I can remember when the hash rate was so low and for it to amplify over time, you know what I mean? And it's been interesting, it's been a very interesting perception to watch. Especially over the last year with the introduction of ASIC boards, that's really been the most interesting in my opinion. And it's just, it's a really, you know, intriguing perspective to have. And, you know, I, I felt it most, you know, becoming that the first day of, you know, January, of the first month of the year 2014, I would kind of elaborate on the idea that, you know, I think the hash rate is going to expand exponentially. You know, it, we're at a point today where nobody minds with a CPU. Nobody mines with a GPU. Nobody mines with FPGA board for SHA-256 coins. That includes, you know, Bitcoin, IX coin, you know, uh, I think Peer coin, you know, all of these um, more major coins. And it's just interesting. You know, we're really starting to get to these points where you have a very selective group of people that have large amounts of mining ability. And you also still have the individual that gets involved and, you know, for fun like myself mining, you know, gets into it and wants to, you know, participate in mining, even if they don't make their money back initially, you know, it's more of a hobby for them. But it's, it's just crazy. I, 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 I had predictions for what the end of the year would bring, and it, it's just crazy. It, all of our predictions got thrown out the window. You know, the adoption rates of ASIC boards have been phenomenal. And it's just really, really interesting. And I, I know maybe you guys don't find it the same way. It's just I find it very interesting that right here, you know, I'm mining and participating in a pool, you know, that is collectively looking for blocks to mine for a script coin. And the fact that this GPU that most people would be using for gaming is kind of collectively ensuring financial freedom for the future. You know, and that's something that's really intriguing. It has, you know, so much more value than, you know, Bitcoin or Litecoin or any of the other coins. It's the true value of what these cryptocurrencies have brought forth in society. And it's just crazy, you know, and talking to people and saying, man, you know, the fact that we're going to be at, two, you know, close, we're at 11.6 right now, we're almost to 12 petahashes. And they said, do you, what do you think is the end of the year going to bring? You know, what are we going to be looking at at the end of 2014? And I don't know. 
I mean, I usually can make pretty intelligent decisions, but with the, you know, easeability for companies to start getting these plans for ASIC boards, you know, with all these new companies coming out with larger and larger, you know, systems every day to be able to mine more efficiently with less power, but with more mining ability, it's crazy. I've heard some people say, you know, a thousand petabytes by the end of the year, and some people have laughed and said that it will be reached by summer. Some people say we won't reach that till the end of 2015. You know, the, the spectrum of analysis is so you know, has such a large range that it's hard for any individual to kind of look at it and figure out what they think is a true prediction and a true analysis of the future hash rate. But it's just incredible. And, you know, I just wanted to do a video the first of the year saying, you know, we're at 11 and a half petahashes. It's incredible. You know, the next year in crypto cryptology, crypt coins, you know, especially Bitcoin, is going to be, you know, unheard of, you know, and not just in price, you know, I, I always tell people, and don't worry about the price, you know, worry about the technology, worry about the, you know, the clients, worry about the, you know, better use of Bitcoin, of all the crypto coins, and the price will follow, that always happens, just like in any company, you, you build a great product, the investors, you know, will come, the money will come, it just, build a great product, and then worry about investments. So, as the new year comes, and you know, the first day and the first beginning of the year, I say, let's see what how high we can go with this petahash. Let's see if we can get to a thousand petahashes by the end of the year. Who knows? And let's enjoy doing it. And thank you, and all of you, for participating in mining. You know, thank you for the other people that have come out and written blogs, written informational charts that encouraged me, even back, you know, three years ago, four years ago, to look into Bitcoin. And today I'm sitting here with a miner that's, you know, involved in participating in finding blocks. It's just, it's remarkable. So guys, have a great year. I'll be here following you guys every day this year. I'm going to do a video every day. I'm going to inform you. We're going to do a lot more analysis this, this year. We're going to do a lot more in-depth tutorials. I really want to educate the general populace. And I hope I, you know, I hope I achieve that goal of mine. You know, so let's see where we go. Have a great year.